Hello curious people. Today we have another exciting video for you. Today we will discuss a system SDRG built for storage of nuclear waste. Sometime late last century the United States government was beginning to get quite a lot of its electricity from nuclear energy. They built nuclear reactors which turn heat from nuclear reactions to electricity. In the process they generated quite a bit of nuclear waste. This waste would stay radioactive for hundreds and even thousands of years. They were looking for solutions to this ever-expanding problem. The government agencies searched the whole contiguous United States. They finally settled on two possible sites and investigated them further. They decided on a large remote area of Carlsbad, New Mexico. It was large and remote. There were no inhabitants nearby and there was good road access. So they picked a large plot of land in the area and purchased it. They started clearing and preparing the land. They called the location the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP for short. The government quickly grew the site, and the land was improved for storage of nuclear waste. The area was provided with facilities for plant personnel, and construction was started on underground tunnels and truck handling provisions for the incoming containers and outgoing trucks. This is when they contacted a controls company in Houston, Texas for a ventilation control system. SDRG was awarded the project, and the system was implemented at the New Mexico WIP site. As you can imagine, air circulation was important and containment of the waste was critical. Once the site had its facilities in place, the waste was shipped and stored underground. The process of expanding tunnels, receiving waste, and storing it underground continued. Boring machines would drill and burrow huge caverns and tunnels to build a web of facilities underground to hold additional waste. Truck after truck brought containers of waste to the site. They were inspected to ensure that they were the correct container for this site and did not show any damage due to shipment. Then the containers were carefully moved to the correct tunnel and cavern underground. Everything was going well. The containers were well packaged and handled. Even though care was taken, they were still containers of radioactive waste and were going to remain waste material, which was radioactive for many, many years to come. As such, they were classified as hazardous waste. That was the root problem that was about to become an issue. One day there was a fire in a salt haul truck in the northern part of the underground mine. It was contained and no one was greatly concerned. The facility had continuous air monitoring systems. This was a good thing. But then there was an alarm on panel 7 on the exhaust system. These incidents were reported by the local paper, describing the air alarm as a radiation leak at the WIP site. This information was technically correct, but sounded frightening. Now that the public was aware of the potential risk and did not want themselves and their children to be exposed to what could be lifelong health problems, they requested the closure of WIP. The area held public forums to hear the concerns of the people and the efforts of management and the agencies responsible for controlling the radioactive issues. Meetings were held in Hobbs, Albuquerque, and of course Carlsbad, New Mexico. Radioactive and hazardous materials committees were established. After many discussions and meetings there seemed to be only two common grounds. Residents did not want to live and work around radioactive and hazardous materials. Also, nuclear energy was able to produce large quantities of electricity, but this process produced large quantities of radioactive waste which would last a long, long time. Manufacture of new nuclear energy plants had all but stopped, but the need to store nuclear waste had not. The WIP site no longer takes new hazardous waste. This is the story of how a simple SDRG controls fresh air control system for a site in Carlsbad, New Mexico grew up. It demonstrates how items which are potentially hazardous to the health of American families and their children are taken seriously and avoided. We hope you enjoyed this SDRG controls video. If you did, we would like to ask you a favor and please give us a big thumbs up. Also, please like and subscribe for more interesting content like this. And again, thank you for watching our video.